Look, if you're a book lover, you might want to skip this one because I'm about to destroy this book. I mean, sort of. I'm going to make it into a haunted hidey hole, but first I have to cut a hole for the haunted hidiness to hide in. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, here's my hole. Now I have to cut a hole out behind that hole, and then I have to cut a hole on top of that hole. Holy cow, this video is full of holes. That usually doesn't happen until I get to the story where all the plot holes happen. Oh look, and here's my holing device to make a smaller hole above my big hole. I promise all these holes will make sense in a moment. See, look at all those holes. So many holes. And now my desk is full of holes. Although that, that technically isn't true. Actually, what would you call those? I would more call them paper turds. All right, my desk is full of paper turds. Anyway, so to the purpose of these holes, I strung lights through them. That's right, not only is my hole gonna be lit, but also the back of my hole is gonna be lit. It's a backlit hole and it's very ugly, but that's okay. It's the back, nobody sees it. But now we're gonna need some shelving inside our hole, which, which reminds me, have I told you what we're making yet? Well, I saw a lot of people comment that they wanted a haunted library and what better place to put a haunted library than inside a book? I mean, it's highly likely that this book is going to haunt me for destroying it and putting a bunch of holes in it. But you know what? Maybe it'll thank me. Maybe it's always wanted to be a haunted hidey hole. And I'm just making its hidey hole dreams come true. I don't know. Anyways, so I think the only criteria to be a library is shelving and books. So I designed covers for a whole bunch of books, including some books about circle windows. Okay, but the process of making books is really boring. So I'm just gonna speed it up with these handy dandy transitions. Okay, I think it's time to get to the story of this haunted hidey hole book. So here's what I'm thinking. So there's this librarian named, I, I don't know, uh, Mara. Anyway, so Mara, she works the local library and one day she was in the back room building a fort out of books as librarians do i assume <laughs> and she came across this weird bookshelf that she had never seen before which is weird because she is the librarian there and she should know all the bookshelves so she used her librarian ladder to get up to the bookshelf to see what was on there and it turned out to be a portal to another library that was exactly like hers only abandoned and dusty and curiosity got the better of her so she entered because i mean look who wouldn't go in you don't know what's in there there could be circle windows or candy because nothing bad ever happens when you enter a strange portal especially in hollywood I mean, just think of Coraline. <laughs> Wait, no. Oh, uh, Alice in Wonderland. Sort of. Okay, maybe not. Not really. Oh, what about Terra Nova? I mean, only some of them died, right? Okay, what about Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe? Actually, I don't know that story. Did it turn out good? I mean, unless the lion eats them. Okay, so maybe no movies come to mind, but it probably happened. Anyway, so back to the story. Mara enters the abandoned library portal, and it's full of all the books that never got written. No, wait. It, it's full of all the books that people have forgotten. Yeah, that's it. Lost literature? Is that a thing? Ooh, maybe it's called the Lost Library. And if you're lucky, you can find a portal in every library to the lost library but you have to be careful because the ghosts of the forgotten authors are usually there <laughs> and if they catch you the only way to get away is to read all their books because then they won't be forgotten authors anymore thus they won't exist in the forgotten library and that could take forever especially because there's no food or water in the lost library and you would die of starvation and thirst before you could read all the books which is why the skulls are there. I don't know. Anyways, Mara was never heard from again. The end. What, what do you guys think? Okay, I feel like the story could use some help, but what did you think of the art? Okay, maybe don't look at the back, but the front looks okay, right? Are you disturbed that I destroyed a book? Like, I gave you a warning in the beginning. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!